Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are talking about how the bottom is over for AMC as we see shorts start selling their puts and doubling AMC holdings and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the end. Now straight away, we're taking a look at this. So Goldman Sachs has sold all their AMC puts, a file the day before Valentine's Day. Nice little gift for apes. They've held putting AMC since Q2 of 2021. They know the bottom is in. They're desperately trying to contain with spoofing their shorts not reported so if you can see right now obviously their put position for goldman sachs has gone to zero meaning that they have sold off all their puts now typically when you sell off your puts it means that you obviously have an understanding that in the short term or long term depending on the expiry date you obviously think the bottom is over you obviously think that you will no longer make money um, because you don't think the price of AMC is going to go further down. Now, what they're trying to do is obviously they still have shares in terms of shorting AMC. They still are affiliated with hedge funds and short sellers out there who have shorts in AMC. And, you know, these are all things that will definitely affect them, whether it's with loaning out money to short seller of AMC or whatever, you know. And so they're still spoofing AMC. They still have shorts that are not reported because we know that with offshore um short you don't have to actually report those but what we can see right now is in terms of one aspect in their portfolio at least with the puts position is that they are not trying to bet on the fact that amc is going to go continue down and they believe that amc definitely is at the bottom and do have a chance of of course going up in terms of price furthermore another reason why we have an understanding of how amc is at the bottom institutions as a whole have almost doubled their amc holdings during q4 2023 for all the newbies that a huge drop of from 160 million down to 40 million is from everybody's holding being adjusted by the reverse split as you guys can see here and you can see how you know we are again seeing the doubling in terms of institutional holdings um and this is for amc right now and i think that this is very important important for people to understand is that firstly Q4 we had a mass amount of institutions buying into AMC and now even going into this year we still have many institutions buying into AMC whether that's Renaissance Technology whether that's Jane Street or just any other firms out there Goldman Sachs also increased their ownership in AMC as well so you know multitude of things we understand that short sellers right now again Goldman Sachs as an example are willing to sell positions that are obviously benefiting from the price going down and that tells us already that they believe that the price isn't going to go down again they're switching on to the long side because they also understand that right now if the squeeze were to happen any time if they don't have a position hedging against it if they don't have any shares that's long amc then they will um, suffer immense losses and the only way for them to minimize these losses right now is of course for them to obviously be buying into amc is of course for them to be um owning amc shares and that's exactly what they are doing now and so what we also talked about in our previous video is obviously how institution ownership has gone over 30% now of the total flow. But what we know from that is that they are obviously buying up the um, synthetic shares of AMC. We've also seen how Webull actually leaked the price of what AMC shares should be. And if you want to go check that out, feel free to do so. It's our previous video. And so many things right now is just doing positive for AMC. AMC right now has a lot of factors that shows how institutional owner and short sellers are weakening in terms of their short positions and how AMC is strengthening as a company, not only for its retail investors, but as a company as a whole. Now, furthermore, what we're seeing is the NYSE order imbalance. So again, what we're seeing is the buy side imbalance for AMC. Now, take a look at this is obviously we have multiple days where we have had um, buy side imbalance for AMC, but yet for the AMC price, we're still seeing the price go down. We're down 1.93%. Now, this goes back to what we we're saying earlier, even though Goldman Sachs and other short sellers are selling some of their positions and Goldman Sachs is their per position they're still deliberately and and still continuing with you know the active acts of spoofing of manipulating and suppressing the price of amc and so whilst we are seeing buy side imbalance we are still seeing the price go down because of the manipulation because of the suppression that is happening but the reason why i wanted to mention you know the buy side imbalance is understanding that even though with everything that's happening right now even with all these news articles with all these um you know fud um people telling you to sell, et cetera, et cetera. What we still see is a buy side imbalance, which shows to us right now that people are still buying into AMC. And so with a buy side imbalance, don't look at the reflection of the price right now. The buy side imbalance itself 
tells you that investors are still strong investors are still willing to buy into amc the price of amc not reflecting that buy side imbalance should only tell you that the suppression in amc is still happening that the manipulation that the expo exploitation of amc is still happening that the corruption is still happening and so you shouldn't be scared at the price at the fact that the price of amc is dropping even though there's a buy side imbalance if anything take it apart and actually understand what does it mean that even though we are seeing the buy side imbalance that we still see the price go down it's because of the suppression it's because of the corruption but we know that investors are st still strong and are willing to buy into amc now furthermore i want to talk about this because we actually uh, touch upon this in one of our previous videos which is city suggests the fed may actually raise rates this year to combat inflation this is what they should have been doing instead of uh, stagflation they have no idea what they're doing so what they're saying is again on traders need to price in the risk of future fed hikes city group says so there is still the um risk of or rather not risk but there is still the talk of uh fed hikes on the table so it shouldn't be taken away from the fact that we won't see another fed hike in the future however what we have to understand is what we talked about how an interest rate rise will actually affect um short sellers because it will increase their borrow costs it will increase the collaterals and it will increase margin requirements and many more in this case and so what we're seeing right now is of course how this is going to be a massive thing now just previously we talked about how short sellers will obviously be affected and now we're seeing talks of obviously be ready to see this happening if we were to see a fed hike if we were to see you know everything we've talked about come true then what we're going to be seeing is obviously mass effect towards the short sellers what we're going to be seeing is obviously short sellers are going to be experiencing difficulties in liquidity they're going to be experiencing difficulties in the capitals needed to obviously short against amc and just even fit the margin requirement and collaterals and that's what we of course want to see furthermore you know this is something that we've talked about in the future uh uh, in the past even but we may see in the future which is b of a did this during that period they panicked and so what we saw was previously in the past we also covered this was how b of a bank of america closed their stock loan hedge account now the reason why this was as you guys can see interesting timing was because we actually saw the increase in margin requirements as we saw by the FINRA rule and then in a, just a day or two later we then saw bank of america closing in their stock loan hedge account account so definitely understanding that margin requirements that whether it's margin requirements whether it's borrowing costs whether it's um and collaterals needed all of these things have massive effects towards these short sellers it isn't just some things that are just being said with the source of trust me bro but rather things that we have seen in the past that have actually been um shown and been proved that it's actually true and this is what we're seeing right now so again going back to what we talked about in terms of the the fed rate increasing you know these are things that will definitely have a massive effect and we've talked about you know what we need to be expecting Furthermore, there is a 94% correlation between 1929 and today's stock market with one key difference. The number of derivatives, debts, rehypothecations, and liability states are exponentially higher than they were 95 years ago. Meanwhile, the, the dollar is 96% weaker due to Fed money printing. Make sure you are probably hedged. So what we're seeing right now is obviously a comparison of 1929. You can, can obviously see what happened during 1929 in terms of the overall market and so you know this is something that we need to understand is that if we were to see the market crash happening for uh the current economy for the current market you have to understand is that right now the situations are way worse as we see the number of derivatives in the trillions we've seen the debt in trillions rehypothecation in trillions liabilities in trillions you can, can see how all of these are massive massive amounts of money and all of these things right now will show you the case of this understanding that if the market were to collapse the hedge funds short sellers who have been using the long assets as collaterals will easily see all of these value go to near zero and that itself is a massive thing for us because we don't understand that the suppression that the manipulation of amc will decrease as we see the money that these short sellers have access to goes to zero and then we're taking a look at this is understanding that people who say is that there is no corruption people who said that hedge funds don't manipulate the market take a look at this citadel was among the hedge funds that received tips on block trades from morgan stanley and so this is just to further prove that again hedge funds short sellers they do have an edge over us and that's the fact that they can trade inside information 
position but that itself shows that they are obviously exploiting and manipulating the market and that's something that we need to see the regulations fix so we need to see more limitations but yeah guys thanks for watching the video i'll catch you guys next time